each of you with a torch. Gordon, grab a torch, dip it in, and get fired. Part of the ritual at Tribal Council because in this game, fire represents your life. When the fire's gone, so are you. So before we get into the tribal politics, let's just talk. Let's have a little jungle talk. <laughs> Starting with the idea of how you are as a person when you are so out of your element. Sean, have you noticed anything about yourself that's different than you would behave back home? Oh, coming into this game, I was like, I'm pretty sure of myself, who I am, my capacities, and now I'm like this jungle rat sleeping on the floor with palm fronds carving <laughs> into my back, and I'm like, who am I? <laughs> Emily, how about you? I actually feel like I'm just a more extreme version of myself. I feel like this weird, aggressive Emily that is um, palpable at camp. Weird, aggressive Emily. <laughs> that is what I said. Is that what I said? That's yeah. what I said. <laughs> Hannah, can that be healthy to say up front, here are my liabilities? 100%. But I think sometimes we can lean out of that instead of embrace it as identity. Right, like the identity that I came in here with is not at all what I'm experiencing out here. Like, I am the most emotionally wrecked out of anyone here. I'm crying every other, like, 30 minutes, and I'm in a constant battle in my head of where my heart is in this game. Sabaya, that could be the siren call of just vote her out. Right, but there's still a lot of politics to discuss, and if you want to go later, that might be a better decision. You know what I'm saying? For us, we need the best possible team, and honestly, we have to vote you out unless you're going to quit, and I doubt Hannah will quit. Emily, Sabaya just made a tribe-oriented statement centered around strength of tribe in the moment. Yeah, I mean, I think it's easy for Sabaya to talk about strength because it doesn't take a genius to look at this group of people and pull out the two people who are the strongest on this tribe, and they have made no attempt to hide their alliance in this who game. Who are we talking about? Sabaya and Caleb. And it's annoying because you feel shut out because two people have already made up their mind about something. I mean, Sabaya was like, okay, yeah, let's get somebody else out because I know that when you know we lose again, Hannah's an easy vote. And that's literally the thought process. I mean, Sabaya literally just said it. And I'll, I'll stop you there because I feel like I'm taking kind of a whoop in, but me and Caleb have not once begged to be in a strength role. Let's just get that straight, yeah. all right? Y'all yeah. have slapped us together since day one and it hasn't been our decision. I feel like because you look at us that way, you have kind of isolated yourself. Oh, well, you know, there's obviously one person who has really struggled the most out of here. That's how every single conversation has been. And when I'm I- No, I, I actually- <laughs> oh. Brandon, actually, by I the mean, way, to be, for a guy who passed out on day one, doing pretty yeah. well today, right? Yeah. I'd love to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to All right, Brandon, let's talk about you, because you struggled in the opening moments quite a bit. Yeah, I made a sizably large first impression, for sure. But when I got back to the camp, my immediate line was, oh, he's not dead, he's here. You know, I wanted to alleviate with a joke, you know, to talk about a strong tribe. I, I can't pretend that I'm going to be able to lift the thing or swim a far distance. I'm very good at comforting people, right? And that's what I can bring to these people that I'm here with right now. And I'm going to see how long that gets me here.